There's probably a lot of people that are unaware that the Danish uh, æbleskive is in family with the American fat pancake. Æbleskive means apple slice. Um, but at least you can see their, their siblings, and uh, I make them like this. As usually, with a wet batter, I mix the dry ingredients first and then the, add the wet ingredients. Flour, baking soda, vanilla sugar, this is homemade, if you think it looks a little funny. A bit of salt. Now we need to separate the egg yolks from the whites. The buttermilk. And some sugar. And I grate a little bit of lemon zest. And into the dough with that. Now we just mix it all up. It doesn't have to be very nice, just as long as there's no dry lumps, it's good. You just a, a coarse porridge like this. I add a little bit of lemon juice to the, the egg whites. That makes for a, a firmer egg white, just like in the old days when they mixed it in a cover ball. This one is not done yet. Now it sticks to the whipping attachment and we can turn it upside down without it falling out of the bowl. And we want a rather firm egg white because we want it to, to keep the, the air bubbles when we fold it into the batter. And this makes uh, this is what makes the, the dough very airy. Well, this and the, the baking soda. But the egg white helps a lot. Do it as carefully as possible because we don't want the uh, uh, the air bubbles to get out of the the egg whites or the dough. So just fold gently. See you can and you can see now the the dough is much finer than before, and there's no lumps anymore. And this is some melted butter, clarified butter you can call it. I use only the top. Then I add. About half a deciliter, a quarter cup, and we have a special pan for this. It's very normal in Scandinavia. In Denmark, every every family have at least one. I turn them over. You can turn them over completely, or you can turn them over a third, and then turn them over another third later. I've always done it the entire way. You turn them over a few more times until you get a nice browning and a little hard shell. And you can hear when they're done. If you, if you tap them lightly, they sound a little bit hollow, just like when you bake a bread, you can tap it in the bottom. That was apple slices. And now we, I want to show how I'm, I use the same batter for American pancakes. The thick kind that I use for a short stack in the morning. I use about the same amount of dough actually, a batter, and uh, just make sure they're a little bit flat. And then when the, the bubbles that forms in the batter during the frying, especially the, the, the holes in the at the edge of the, the pancake, when they don't disappear, you just turn them over. And again, I fry them in clarified butter. Try to distribute the fat evenly. And when they have the same color on the other side, they're done. So, American pancake and Danish apple slices, you can see now they're in family. It's just, well, I guess the Danes forgot to bring their apple slice pans when they went to America and just made them flat. Both taste fine and they're easy. So, enjoy. I'm gonna. And you can find the list of ingredients and the recipe on Kvalifood.